Hey guys, I wanted to expand on the the low temperature cutoff that I was talking about in the last video and why you don't always have to have a battery that has that feature. A lot of batteries don't have that feature. And um, so I want to show you how it works using it through the charge controller. So I've got my temperature sensor in my cup of ice. And uh, right now, as you see, um, the unit is powering this Raspberry Pi, so it thinks everything's honky-dory. Uh, you can see here that the load power is 5.3 watts. So that's what the Raspberry Pi plus the PoE switch is drawing. And so let's plug in this cold temperature sensor and let's just take a look and see what happens. Yeah? As always, got to do this one-handed. There we go. Let's see. Look, it went off immediately. Bam. There you go. So, we uh, cut the load power. So, there's no power coming out of the batteries. It is negative 57 Celsius. And that's why it cut off. So let's unplug it and we'll see what happens. Yeah, maybe we need to actually put the. Oh, no, it came back on. So there you go. That's all fine and dandy. We're back to drawing power. Everything's good. So, um, let's take a look. I'm gonna show you guys in the software how you set this up, and it's super simple. Um, when you when you buy these EP Evers, you you don't have access to all these advanced settings through the um, the panel here. This just gives you very minimal settings, and you can also use the MT50 controller, but that still limits you to what you can do. When you're setting it up for lithium, you want to come over here to parameters and control parameters for lithium battery. All right, there's that. And your lithium, your lie battery protection is, is the thing. So let me uh, read the settings from the controller and you'll see what I've got it set to. There we go. We've read the settings from the controller. And come on, focus. There we go. As you can see, live battery protection is enabled, and that's what you want. You don't get that if you're using uh, the default uh, settings because the default settings for these controllers are are set up for AGM uh, or sealed lead acid batteries. Which is fine, that'll work for, for lithium iron phosphate, but you don't get all these uh, advanced stuff for lithium. So, um, <clears throat> that works perfectly fine. These batteries aren't going to get destroyed in cold, cold weather. Uh, the other thing I wanted to mention is, before we were using uh, lithium iron phosphate batteries, we were using AGM batteries, and they were not cheap they were from a well-known manufacturer and i'm not going to name any names or anything like that but they cost us more for those batteries than it did for these batteries and we had we had a pretty high failure rate and mostly because um we would install these units in the field and then the service contract would be up and then we would re remove them out of, out of service and then store them and those those batteries those AGM batteries we don't have a, you know enough people uh, on on staff to to keep them maintained and so they might sit on a shelf they'll self discharge and then they're just trash they're garbage we got to figure you know we got to take them to a recycling place the other thing is they're super heavy um, it's just difficult to to transport and the other thing is is that if we could 
get the same capacity, you know, rating uh, with these lithium iron phosphate and actually use that full capacity. Whereas on the AGM cells, we would only be able to use about 50%. If we were using more than 50% on an AGM deep, deep cycle cell, we are, we're damaging it. So again, you know, these are the cheapest option on Amazon, but these are more reliable than the super expensive uh, AGM cells that we're using. And we don't have a problem with the low temperature cutoff if we have the charge controller set up properly because it will do it for us. So there you go. Um, don't don't uh, be fearful of using these batteries in, in, in like an IoT uh, uh, solution because they will work fine and, and we use them and they work fine. And uh, I guess I'll see you guys next video.